Taiwan's semiconductor industry is not just a cornerstone of its economy, but also a critical component of the global technological ecosystem. In 2023, Taiwan's semiconductor sector accounted for an astonishing 60% of global semiconductor production, with over 90% of the world's most advanced chips coming from its factories. This dominance, driven primarily by Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, has made Taiwan a vital player in global supply chains, influencing everything from smartphones to sophisticated military systems. However, this dominance also places Taiwan at the center of global geopolitical tensions, as major powers like the United States and China vie for control over this essential industry. In 2023, semiconductors made up more than 40% of Taiwan's total exports, contributing significantly to the island's economy. These exports amounted to over $125 billion, underscoring the critical role that semiconductors play in Taiwan's economic landscape. TSMC alone accounted for approximately 25% of Taiwan's entire GDP, making it the country's largest taxpayer and a vital economic pillar. The company's revenue continued to soar, reaching record levels and further cementing TSMC's role as an economic powerhouse. Despite its economic benefits, though, Taiwan's heavy reliance on semiconductors presents significant vulnerabilities. The island exported electronic integrated circuits worth over $47 billion to China in 2023, highlighting the deep economic interdependence between the two regions despite the ongoing political tensions. China's share of TSMC's net revenue increased from 8% in 2022 to 12% in 2023, while North America remained TSMC's largest market, contributing 69% to the company's net revenue. Similarly, China remained the top destination of Taiwan's integrated circuits in the last three consecutive years. However, China's ambitions to reduce its dependence on foreign semiconductors and develop its own advanced manufacturing capabilities pose a direct threat to Taiwan's economic stability. In 2023, revenue from China's top 10 chip equipment makers surged by 39%, reflecting Beijing's aggressive push towards self-sufficiency in semiconductor production. This development is significant because despite US export restrictions aimed at slowing China's technological advancement, Beijing has made notable progress. Yet China still lags behind Taiwan in producing the most advanced chips, a gap that remains crucial to global power dynamics. The United States has taken significant steps to maintain its technological edge and limit China's access to advanced semiconductors. In 2023, the US imposed restrictions on the sale of high-performance semiconductors to China, specifically targeting chips that could be used in advanced military applications. These export controls also extended to the machinery and human expertise required for semiconductor manufacturing. The goal was clear, to prevent China from gaining a technological advantage that could undermine US national security and global technological leadership. Taiwan's share of global semiconductor foundry capacity in 2023 stood at about 46%, a figure that dwarfs that of its closest competitors. China, for example, follows with 26%, South Korea with 12%, the US at 6%, and Japan with just 2%. This dominance is largely due to TSMC, which produces the most advanced processors found in products like Apple's iPhones. TSMC's influence is so significant that its market capitalization reached $13.7 trillion in 2023, nearly half the size of Taiwan's entire GDP. Despite its dominance, Taiwan's reliance on the semiconductor industry also makes it vulnerable 
to shifts in global demand and geopolitical tensions. Should China succeed in developing the capacity to produce advanced semiconductors independently, Taiwan could face severe economic repercussions. The loss of China as a major customer would be catastrophic, given that semiconductors account for such a large portion of Taiwan's exports. This vulnerability underscores the risks associated with Taiwan's heavy reliance on a single industry for economic growth. The global semiconductor shortage that emerged in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic further highlighted the critical role that Taiwan plays in the global economy. The surge for in-demand smart devices, automotive components and other chip-dependent products led to manufacturing delays and shutdowns with some customers waiting as long as 52 weeks for certain semiconductors. This shortage exposed the vulnerabilities of the global supply chain and underscored the risks of over-reliance on Taiwan's semiconductor industry. In response to these challenges, the United States has incentivized TSMC to build new fabrication plants in Arizona. In 2023, TSMC's capital spending reached a record $30 billion, part of a broader strategy to diversify production away from Taiwan and reduce the risk of supply chain disruptions. However, building new semiconductor fabrication plants is a complex and lengthy process, often taking five years or more to become operational. Despite these efforts, Taiwan's dominance in the most advanced chip manufacturing is likely to persist for the foreseeable future anyway. The geopolitical implications of Taiwan's semiconductor dominance are immense. In 2022, global semiconductor capital spending surged by 19% to 181.7 billion US dollars, but it was projected to decrease by 19% to 146.6 billion in 2023 primarily due to US export restrictions on China and a weakening memory semiconductor market. The island's strategic importance in the global supply chain makes it a potential flashpoint in the ongoing rivalry between the United States and China. The US has made it clear that it views the security of its semiconductor supply chain as a matter of national interest, and it has taken steps to ensure that it retains access to the most advanced chips. This has included encouraging TSMC to build new plants in the US and imposing export controls on the sale of semiconductor manufacturing equipment to China. China, on the other hand, views Taiwan's semiconductor industry as both a strategic asset and a potential vulnerability. Beijing has long sought to reunify Taiwan with the mainland and control over the island's semiconductor industry would give China immense leverage in the global economy. In a hypothetical scenario, China could exert economic pressure on Taiwan, using its military and geopolitical influence to coerce the island into submission without direct military confrontation. This could involve strategies such as blockades, embargoes, or even the acquisition of TSMC through financial means during a period of economic instability. The potential consequences of such a move are profound. If China were to gain control over Taiwan's semiconductor industry, it could dominate the global supply of advanced chips, giving Beijing significant power over industries worldwide that rely on these components. This would include critical sectors in the United States and its allies, where semiconductors are indispensable for everything from consumer electronics to defense systems. The US, in response, would face a strategic dilemma. How to counteract China's influence without escalating to military conflict? The economic interdependence between Taiwan and its global partners further complicates this scenario. As North America accounts for 69% of TSMC's net revenue, this highlights the deep ties between the US and Taiwan's semiconductor industry. Any disruption in this relationship, whether due to geopolitical tensions or other factors, could have cascading effects across the global economy. 
industries dependent on advanced semiconductors such as automotive, consumer electronics and telecommunications would be particularly hard hit. Taiwan's economic model, heavily reliant on semiconductors, faces an uncertain future. While the island's semiconductor industry has been a key driver of its economic success, contributing to an annualized GDP growth of 3.5% over the past two decades, the risks associated with this dependence are becoming increasingly apparent. Economists like Paul Cavey have suggested that Taiwan should diversify its economy in order to mitigate the potential impact of China's growing semiconductor capabilities. However, finding a viable alternative industry that can match the economic contributions of semiconductors has proven challenging to say the least. In 2023, Taiwan's energy imports equaled about 7.4% of its nominal GDP, with approximately 97% of the country's total energy supply being imported. The island's power generation mix is heavily reliant on imported fossil fuels, with coal accounting for 42% of electricity generation, LNG for 40%, renewables 10% and nuclear 6%. This dependence on imported energy sources leaves Taiwan vulnerable to supply chain disruptions and price volatility, particularly in the context of escalating geopolitical tensions in the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait. Taiwan's government has recognized the need to address these energy challenges as part of its broader strategy to secure the semiconductor industry. Efforts are underway to diversify energy sources, promote energy efficiency and invest in renewable energy infrastructure. However, these initiatives will take time to bear fruit and Taiwan remains vulnerable to energy supply disruptions in the meantime. The ongoing geopolitical tensions between the US and China, particularly in the South China Sea, further exacerbates these risks as critical energy supply routes could be affected by military conflicts or political disputes. The interconnectedness of Taiwan's semiconductor industry with global energy markets and geopolitical dynamics underscores the complexity of the challenges facing the island. As the world becomes increasingly dependent on advanced semiconductors, the stakes for Taiwan and, by extension, the global economy have never been higher. The outcome of the ongoing power struggle between the United States, China and other global powers over control of the semiconductor industry will have far-reaching implications, not only for Taiwan, but for the future of global technological innovation and economic stability.